Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled band yet So and singer Fergie, the talk of the nation, after a very unique rendition of the national anthem with a lot of interesting reactions at the All-Star Game, the performance getting very harsh reaction from critics. We did this story at 5 o'clock, and there were basically three reactions. You had people who just don't care about this. You have people who were really offended by this, and people who just found it comical. And yeah. I think, you know, when you kind of hit this lane in American culture where it's really offensive to some people and it's really laughable to other people, it can kind of gain a lot of traction fast. Um, it's a tough song to sing. At yeah. least, I mean, it really is. Now, th some, there are some really precious moments when I think it's been performed very, very well. Yeah. Okay, I, there was a time a couple of years ago when the Cavs were playing Golden State. State, and the crowd sang. I remember that. Okay, and that was great. If up in Canada, a lot of times the crowd will sing O Canada, and it's incredible. When I was over in England for the Browns game, the crowd sang God Save the Queen, and mm. it was magnificent. What do you think of that? Well, I think, yeah, I think it's up to these ownerships, you know, the Cavs yeah. get to decide, even in the finals, who's going to do it here, and what's a reflection of our city. Right. Somebody with the NBA or TNT or maybe the Staples Center in Los Angeles said, this is the way to go, and they gave Fergie the latitude to do it how she wanted to, and that Marilyn Monroe type voice, right. bad backfire. Okay, we're not going to have the Marilyn Monroe voice coming up right now here on Donovan Live, a more traditional way of singing the national anthem from our own Monica Robbins. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled band yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. All right, yes. <laughs> well done, Monica. Thank well you. done. Um, do you, is it a tough song to sing? Incredibly difficult. Why is it so tough? It's an octave and a fifth. 
So for the average, uh, for, person, yeah, for us that, for, uh, <laughs> I mean, a fifth in my world whole, means a little bit different. There's a whole lot of notes <laughs> in there, and it's just for for most people, you know, it's 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 out of their range. Yeah, it's and technically it's supposed to start in B flat, which is a little higher, and yeah, I I never know where I'm going to start it. You have had a lot of experience doing this. Like, let's go back 1999, I believe. Yeah. The Browns are playing the Minnesota Vikings. It's the first game at the stadium. They're opening up the the stadium. It's their first preseason game that they're going to play when at home. When they came back. When they yeah. came back. Okay. What was the whole, you know, uh, procedure? First of all, getting the gig, as we would say. Um, they, uh, I had to audition, and I auditioned over the phone. And the first time I sang it, I, I tried to blues it up and you know make it all fancy and. Um, I, after I sang it, I heard this voice say, could you sing it more traditionally? And it was Mr. Lerner. Absolutely. And he was a Marine. He was a Marine and head to toe, let me tell you. Absolutely. Yeah. And when a Marine tells you to sing the national right. anthem straight, you sing it straight. So early in her performance last night, would Fergie have known that she might get some pushback on this? You know, I don't know. I, I think for, for me, you know, she, she's a professional, obviously. But um, for me, when, when you start singing that song, you're so focused on it because it is the one song you cannot mess up. So she is so focused on what she's doing. I really don't think she was focusing on what the crowd reaction was at that time. I think yeah. she was focusing on hitting the note. Is that her style anyway? I, yeah. Is that Fergie's style I, I of singing? I think it is. Yeah. I mean, you know, from my take on it, she, she she got she hit all the notes. She got all the words right. It's her interpretation of the song. And fortunately, we live in a country where she has the freedom to do that. Well, there you go. Um, thanks for doing it. Sure. I was magnificent. Oh, thank I think you. we should bring it back on the show every night. To sing the anthem. What yes, better way, right? I mean, that's a good way to open the show. Thanks, Monica. Sure.